in streaming. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to Draco Apocalypto episode uh, 38, because I forgot to update it. 38. Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, yeah, last time, uh, I imagine this stream will be pretty short, uh, depending on what, what the players do. Uh, Alejandro, our snake man, is uh, currently uh, doing some homework uh, for his college right now. Um, but at the same time, uh, we are going to do a small off-course uh, short, uh, still in the Draco Apocalypto universe. Um, so this is how it's going to begin. So actually, real quick, Nochi, what was Hardy doing uh, in the last episode? He like he didn't, he never entered the tavern or whatever. Um, because after he realized what Lucy done by teaching the medical or how to stab everybody to heal, he's like, okay, I'm gonna teach you guys some real medicine for herbalist time. <laughs> um, actually, shit, I should have moved your character token to like uh, bed, Lucy. So like. Alright, so... Dull. I was staring at the campfire the whole time. I refused. <laughs> Alright, fine. Alright, fine. You were staring at the campfire the entire night. Um, it is now... Uh, oh, oh, so, like, oh, we, when we ended last session, Boger got a call that apparently Grendel has gone missing. Yes, Grendel has gone missing, uh, but you don't know what happened because, one, you're severely tired from what happened just uh, the day before with the orcs stabbing themselves and you're just tired in general. Um, but uh, before we get to you guys, even though you're all here in the tavern, quote unquote hardy, uh, let's cut back to the punch lord and what he was uh, uh, trying to get out of Bobby uh, all those hours ago. So I guess to uh, I guess to cut back to where we were at uh, in the in uh, Punch Lord, it went something like, I don't know. Several hours later! And Bobby's like, and that's what happened. <laughs> um, the Punch Lord is like, So I see. For all this time, you, uh, you were convinced that I, ki that I killed the Light Dragon mainly for methodical reasons. You thought I turned pure evil, right? Yeah, something like that. Listen, when I first entered this this dimension, uh, the first dragon that came that challenged me was the Chaos Dragon, and I killed him. All right, and uh, he said in order for me to get home, I had to kill the other dragons and gain their power. I didn't know you could just challenge them and get their and get their power that way. So that was my mistake, and I was misled by a corrupt chaotic dragon. So I'm sorry about that, Bobby. Sorry I killed your friend Light, killed the Light Dragon. But when I went over there to see him, uh, he was already destroying that village down below. And I guess your uh, pugilist Bane team saw me that saw me killing him in the process. So I'm sorry for what's been going on to you and your companions. But I have to know where are they now? I need to get the other power the concepts so I can turn me and my my companions back to our own dimensions. Uh Bobby's like, uh, listen, Punch Lord, as much as I love as much as I would love to tell you and your uh, friends, um, I I can't actually tell you. Um call it like a contract uh, that I can't uh, that I can't uh, destroy no matter how much I try. It's uh and he like a punch like gets closer to Bobby. It's it's a contract I can't break. And if I do, I might cease to exist. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to find him on your own. It's just how this works. Uh, Rose goes up to Punch Lord. It's like Punch Lord. As long as um the pugilist Bane, Bobby's team, as long as long as we know that they have the power concepts, we will eventually meet them. So, for the time being, let's focus on finding the, the remaining dragons, and then uh, meet them when the time comes. <sighs> you're right. Besides, from what I've heard from the- Is that- Lucy, you're not here. Stop it! 
from um, uh, Project continues, he says, Besides, the fact that the pugilist Bane was able to, like, to destroy the other, uh, to gain the power of the other concept dragons piques my interest. Just how strong are these adventurers, I wonder. But no matter. We must set off to find the, find the space dragon. And if I do uh, come in contact with the pugilist Bane, I most... I very much like to see just how strong they are. Mark my words. And Bobby's like, say, and he just eats a, a, another Lucy special taco. <laughs> but now I shall cut back to the to where you guys were at the tavern. Um, I guess cutting back. Several hours later. <laughs> um. So which episode is that from? I don't remember which episode is that from. I was going to do it like the last episode, but I just forgot. But I guess like no, 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 no. I mean, I mean of a uh, text to speech. I don't remember what episode that's from. Oh, I got that from the role play special. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, um. So it is around. I'm gonna say six a.m. This like um, Lucy, you've been staring at the t at the fireplace intensely. Um. Uh, just not no sleep just like full on uh, you just been awake this entire time um Bulger, you've uh been asleep uh you're starting to get up uh zetsuli has been uh continuously writing more spell scrolls spell scrolls and hardy after uh many hours of uh going to see those orcs trying to stab themselves you return to your companions at the tavern Okay, hold on. I'll drop my token real quick. Oh, wait. There you are. Thank you. Boy, it's hard to teach these orcs anything, but I did it. I go kick the door. The door is kicked. Uh, the bartender is like, Oi, don't break the door. <laughs> Sorry, my arms are tired. <laughs> and he slumps onto the, onto the table. Uh, you got any coffee uh, or an energy drink? I just, uh, I just brewed me a, a new batch of coffee. Uh, that would be one gold. Give me three. <laughs> All right. Give me three gold and I'll get you three cups. I paid three gold. Hey, right, he puts down three mugs and, uh, takes the gold. <laughs> Hardy's like, he's like, he, like, takes all three and, like, Dumps it all in his mouth, like, wow! Lucy, what are you doing? I turn around, intensely staring. Turn around, I'm like, time needs to go faster. You, uh, you turn around, like, after you do that, it's like, you've been in front of that fire this whole night, and it's like, like, uh, part of your skin, it's like, how do I say it? Like, it's just slightly uh, tinged because, like, you've been standing in front of a fire for hours. Just like that feeling of like uh, being in front of, ver of a very heated place for many hours. Um, your whole, like, your whole front side of your body is just hot, while the back side is just like neutral. <laughs> I was like, mm. need more time. Ah. Uh uh, Bulger, what are you doing? Uh, well, you just said that he just woke up, so... Just woke up, does his morning stretches, and, uh, hops out, and just heads over to the tavern. He's, 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 very, he's very neutral. Morning. Not too get up and go. <laughs> you, uh, you see that silly writing spell scrolls. That's the one I was looking for. Mm. Yeah. 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 Morning, friend. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. And <laughs> I do my best to impress me. Can't, you can. Just, 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 since that silly saying yo is probably the most cringiest thing I can imagine that silly. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please clip that part. <laughs> we can keep it so we can show how Andrew 
freaking anytime I say hello, Alejandro, he's like, yo. And like, <laughs> Wait, that's, tr- like that's true, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he's a default, yo, it's his catchphrase. He's got to do it. All right. So, uh, let's see. Where's the thing I'm talking at? All right. So, Lucy. Uh, you, uh, you hear, uh, someone, uh, entering the tavern who you interacted with yesterday, as soon as I get the freaking token. There you go. I meet a lot of people. For sure do. Oh, he's bigger than this. Alright, so, uh, Orgo, uh, the, uh, auction hut guy that, uh, you guys helped stop the bandits from yesterday, like, Hey, is there a Lucy in here? Who wants to know? I do. I got good news for you. Um, the ship captain up up at uh at the port, he was able to pull some strings. Your uh your new airship came in early. Oh snap! Yeah, so I wanted to take you and your friends uh, to your new airship and uh, show you the place. Cool. I'm gonna go. Are we going an airship yet? Let's go. Let's go. I was kind of barely paying attention during that fight. What happened? Uh, so Lucy zooms out. Uh, at this point, Zulu uh, closes his like spell scrolls and whatnot, and gets ready to leave. But uh, Balger, you see this happening. Uh, I guess you too, Hardy. It's like he get he uh, gets down on the floor. Uh, I guess the the snake comparison to standing up. Uh, but uh, he drops his um, his pen, and he looks at his arm, and it turns. Uh, it starts to like <laughs> like Thanos out. Like uh, it turns pure white until finally his body just uh, go like uh, with his wings. Like and he and he goes like. Oh! Oh god! Oh shit! Uh. Sir, you didn't put anything in the coffee, did you? Oi, what? What? He didn't have any coffee. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm not drunk. <laughs> uh, no, what no, just no, happened? No, that... I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 okay, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, um, so I should probably, uh, let you know something, uh, ahead of time, Hardy. Um, yeah? Rundle has gone missing, and... This situation that just happened to Zazuli sounds exactly like what Bonnie was telling me happened to Grundle last night. So, um, I think both <laughs> of them have now just gone missing. Oh, uh, no, not my, not our bro. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hold, hold, hold. Did, did you clip the yo? Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I mean, keep going, keep going. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, that's bad. That's bad. Um, my magical senses are bad. Are your magical senses good? Uh, I'm trying to make sure the coffee isn't drugged, but I'm going to say I'm not drugged. And I've just, we, you, and you're witnessing it meaning uh, something really bad is happening. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna roll Arcana. I'm gonna see if I can detect anything. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'll I'll try to. Uh, <laughs> you don't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, I sucked. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Oh, no. I think this. I think this magic is a bit too powerful for us to comprehend. Uh, does Lucy have the Arcana? Oh, do let's. I, uh, do I come back? Let's. You come back to see like what's taking so long. Hurry up! But then you see what happened. Hey yo, can we hurry up? Our ship is waiting. That Zuli just disappeared. Damn. Like he faded to dust. It's enough. Do you have good arcana skills? Could you check this out? Uh, freaking just hurry this up so I can go get my ship. Just check the area with arcana. We can go see your ship. Wait, wait a minute. Um, am I dumb? Run. 
No, I don't have to take magic, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Lucy, you come in through the door, but like you don't sense any magic. Just like a po- like a small pile of ash where Zitsuli was sitting. <laughs> Uh, uh, I go to the pile of ash and I go, I put it in a bag and, and, and I dust pan it into the bag. It's like, we'll figure this out later. Right now, ship. Okay. <laughs> ship first. I got a bag yes, of Zuli. Fine. Go to the thing, ship. I got, I got a bag of Zuli in my back pocket. We'll figure right. it out later. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Question nothing. We're carry on, I guess. You know, we'll I go follow us. The lovely bag of the jewelry. In my pocket. It's a good session already. We'll do it later. All right. All right. Um, so, okay, let me get the map ready real quick. You doing okay? Okay. okay so do this. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Uh, you enter. You out. Uh, you walk outside uh, into the orc village. You see the ship, the uh, sh- uh, ship captain at the docks with her, with his small assistant, and uh, you see a massive uh, airship uh, f- fall uh, and uh, sink into uh, the waters of the port, uh, allowing for entry and uh, for the crew that the captain hired to land the ship onto the, sh- the docks, uh, start to uh, leave uh, the ship. The the ship doors uh, open, and many of the crews, uh, crew members that he hired to bring the ship to you, Lucy, uh, start to walk out. Do I own them? No. Oh. <laughs> that would be nice so. to own a couple of ship members, crew members. All right, so uh, Orgo, uh, I guess, like, talks a bit to the captain, and he turns to you, Lucy. He's like, well, Lucy, here are your keys, and uh, hands the keys to you. Uh, they're orange um, for the orange vortex, and uh, these are yours for the taking. Nice. So, wait, what does uh, it do? It flies? Uh, the ship captain goes up to you. He's like, yes, um... This thing is in the way. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ship captain goes to you and he says, "Yes, um, we've checked the uh, the ship. Uh, make sure it's fully functional. Uh, no, uh, no crazy uh, malfunctions are going to happen on this ship. Um, it is re- it is uh, ready to go for you and uh, whoever you hire for your crew." Ah, what about those guys that left? Oh. I'm uh, I'm afraid those are for uh, the port port over here. Uh, if you if you're gonna hire a crew for yourself, uh, you might want to try uh, looking elsewhere. Hmm, can I hire someone here or somewhere elsewhere? Uh, if if you look around, uh, I'm sure you'll find us uh, some people who are willing to uh, be on your boat uh, to uh, be your crew. All right. Now look around. Who who's willing to work? So, from what you've caused and seen uh, from yesterday, most of the orcs here are as dumb as rocks. Uh, in fact, the same, uh, that area of orcs that you, uh, Bulger was trying to teach uh, things, uh, they, from yesterday, you saw how you start, first saw them, they are eating rocks and throwing rocks, uh, but now they've gone the extra mile of... Um, of like breaking rocks into smaller rocks, so something has changed. <laughs> Could it be small progress? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to teaching the uh, go to these guys right quick. Hey, how Wait, the, oh, that's oh, a standard oh, business. Let me, let me. Uh, the the rocks were making them smaller. Uh, All right, then. <laughs> oh. I'm like looking at it and just like they're using crucibles. <laughs> crucible, little, please. Oh, my little little crucibles. I hand boggered <laughs> the crystal ball. Thank you. Bogger goes in the corner. Mix called to Bobby. <laughs> I, I go up to these boards. Have you guys been using your your teachings? Doing your teachings? Yes. 
We have learned from yesterday. We are no longer throwing rocks to solve our problems. We have learned to use smaller rocks instead. And it's working better. Good job. You do what you're doing. Uh, and, uh, Bogger, you call Bobby? <laughs> yes, I call Bobby. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring. Hello? Uh, hi, Bobby Problem. Uh, what's going on? So, uh, two things. One, uh, Grungloss apparently gone missing. Two, Zatsuli has now apparently gone missing. Oh. Well, that's like, I, when I say missing, I mean he was standing there, and then he turned to dust. Oh, that, oh, that's bad, but why, why? How... I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. He was standing there. He, he, he was right in his snowballs doing his thing, and then he stood up, and then just, whoosh. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this is complicated. All right, uh, tell you what. what uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look for him. I'm gonna, like, I know how to locate you guys. So I had to, like, move the ship. Uh, ah! I know how to locate you guys. But, like, this is, like, I sensed you, I sensed him there with you, and now he's gone. That's different. So, I'm bed. gonna look into it. Uh, you find a way, try to find him, uh, with, find a wizard, find a priestess or somebody, somebody, I can help you. Uh, I'll see what I can do. And bye. And he hangs up. <laughs> so I have decided to put my bike on the boat. Because I like this bike also. Oh, so you're going to take your bike to the boat? Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm going to need you to actually, like, like, you know, move it to towards it. <laughs> How do I move my bike? Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Controlled by. Here we go. <laughs> I put my bike inside the boat because I need it. The ghost gotta, rider. Okay, there. <laughs> Try to move it. Yeah. <laughs> Get in the boat. Okay, I'm, so, I'm looking at these orcs. See if they use medicine. So or making Lucy, medicine. So Lucy, I'm glad you do, you decided to do something to your boat. Because as you approach the boat with your bike, something happens. The engines to the airship start on their own. They just, they just uh, start firing on their own, and no one's inside <laughs> the airship. <laughs> oh, okay, so, uh, so I basically lost the thing. The ship captain's like, what the? Wait, no one's, no one's in the ship. Wait, wait, stop that boat! And he tries to run to it uh, to like, get inside. The doors close as he's uh, trying to get into it. Uh, you're also like right up, right up to the door, but like it closes on you. The ship starts to rise on its own. <laughs> Wait, hold on, real fast. Am I How far it? Away is it? I don't it just like my... so... uh, the sh the ship starts to rise. It's like a rocket ship. Like it start like it's slow. It's a, it has a slow takeoff speed. So it's st at this moment in time, it's beginning to lift off on its own. <laughs> oh, we got a jump. So, we got a jump. So am I in it or no? Because I I put the bike into the boat. No, no, you weren't uh, quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did it have to be if I didn't get if I was in it? No, you weren't. Oh well. He's saying as you were approaching it, it shut itself off and closed uh, the door by itself. So it closed by itself. Yep. And it's starting to lift off on its own. Okay. Well, hold on. Where am I? Where'd I go? You're over. Uh, you're underneath you the Lucy. Bottom. I'm underneath Lucy. Okay. So, is it within sixty feet of me? Can I throw my dagger and teleport on? Uh, make a, yeah, throw your dagger, see if it hits. <laughs> That's so right. I, I uh, <sighs> and I transform into a bird. Uh, yes, you may. Uh, okay, okay well, so, Zetsuli, uh, you throw your Zetsuli? dagger. I'm, sorry, not Zetsuli. Hardy. <laughs> I'm not uh, Hardy. I'm fuck. Okay, Hardy, you, you use wild chip, you turn to a bird. Bulger, you throw your knife, uh, however, the, the hull of the ship is a bit too hard uh, for it to actually, like, land in, uh, land on, uh, like, stay on the ship. <laughs> Squaw! That's okay. Uh, I have wild sheep, too. So I guess I'll right. start flying if I care enough. 
How far? Yeah. How, how high is this thing right now? At, at the moment, because uh, uh, the ship's pretty big, um, to, like if it was sitting on the water, it was uh, it would be like a good thirty feet. However, it started rising, so I'm gonna say uh, it is now sixty feet up into the air. Well, I start flying sixty feet high. All right. Yay! And uh, both of you turn into birds. <sighs> Hold on, roll twenty is giving me some trouble. It's running a little slowly right now. I want to. I use my portal. No. Struggling. All right. So, uh, the ship is flying into the air. Uh, however, you guys are able to catch up to it uh, since it started so easily. But well, hold on. Okay. And all right. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, the ship starts to rise, and you follow with it, uh, the massive airship. <laughs> Ugh, I don't feel like controlling. Uh, I just want my bike. Fly. Yeah. Alright, so, right, so you're on top of the roof of your ship. Yes. And now, Hardy, I guess you're on the bow, or, like, the deck of the ship. <laughs> the wing. Oh. <laughs> Whoosh. It'd be like Sonic Adventure. Eggman fleet. <laughs> and, uh, Balger, uh, you're still a bird flying after the ship. You're, like, all, off to the side there. <laughs> um. Jan? Ah! Damn. He got roasted. <laughs> you chicken. God, easy. And, uh... That's so easy. I just put... I, I, I put him in the back of uh, sin. Barrel, dinner, dinner, dinner. Get a bag of holding you do. <laughs> oh my bike. Can I get my bike? Jan, you there? Bring me the bike. Oh. Hello. Okay. Yo. I, he there we go. I hear it, Jan. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. My entire computer experience like slow down and lagging for a bit there. Oh wow, that's okay. Um, you are still a bird chasing after the airship. You see yourself on the far right. Uh, yes, I can. I do see myself. Okay, I'm moving myself. Uh, do I try to catch up with the ship? I mean, uh, Lucy and Hardy are on the ship, so you can join them. All right. Yeah. yeah. Tweet. Okay. Tweet. All right. Oh, jeez. You're, you're kind of on the wing of the ship, so. You still hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so you've all caught up to the ship, uh, ah. and I'm going to play your music, Reggie. Oh, jeez. A thing! <laughs> so, you're on... So, you're on your ship, Lucy. Uh, however, uh, besides you three, there's no one else on the ship. Oh, Hey, Lucy? Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm far. <laughs> I, just, I need to go... I need to go fly up to her. Lucy, what'd you do? I don't... Uh, do I even understand animal or bird? Oh, that's right. Let me get out of animal real quick. I dispelled wild shape. I said, right. okay, Lucy, what did you do? I did nothing. Um, I do you remember what happened before the ship went off? Nope, I just put my bike in the, I think, like, I got close and the thing flew. I was like, okay. Um, where's your bike? <laughs> I don't know, down below. Oh. I'm gonna go get her real oh. quick. I'll right back. Oh, okay. At, at this okay. point, you're already like 200 feet or like 300 feet up in the air on the ship. Like I said, oh, she got the keys. I'll be right. I'll be right back. 
Uh, I can't pilot a ship. <laughs> <laughs> I jump off the uh, ship. All right. I just you. <laughs> just okay. I, I do um, a flip. <laughs> I'll give her the back of holding for getting the motorcycle. <laughs> all right. So it so far from what you see, it's just you three on the deck of the ship. Um. You don't know what's causing the airship to fly on its own, but you can look around to find out. I'm not going oh. to the hole. You, you know what? <laughs> this uh, is interesting. I need you what's to grow this? What's this big ring? That's like, um, it's like from the, the art. Uh, it's like a, um, it's like as the ship flies, uh, it gains electric energy from, from the clouds around it. Basically, like a power source. <laughs> oh, so it's okay. like that's what's a sail. I gotcha. That's yeah. cool. Okay. Um, what's this? Is this just a logo? Yeah, or it's a, ship? yeah, that's just the logo. Right. It's floating. Um, up. is that a latch? I see a latch. I see a latch what's door over here? there. Yeah, that's a latch. Can I open it? Sure. Okay, I open the latch door. Brains! Ah! Uh, Logger, as you open the door <laughs> to the inside of the ship, it's like brains! Uh, Lucy, yeah! you see more um, from the roof that you're on top of. You see skeletons and zambos uh, crawling from below the deck of the ship. Oh, cool. Cheap labor. Uh-oh. <laughs> right. And uh, they are out to kill you for taking their ship. So, let's roll initiative, everybody. Oh, boy. Also, this is kind of cool. <laughs> well, I know what I need to do since they're part of the ship, part of the crew. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm more scared of what that sh shield, would, that force shield is doing. Yo, that's, this, is, this is cheap labor. Hold up. I know what to do. Uh, hold on, do this real quick, there we go. Yeah. I know. Uh, oh no. I think I know what to do. One, 20 tough points, and 87 HP. There we go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so, we're all for these guys real quick. funky uh, groove to these uh, skelly men and zambos. Yeah, they're, they're dancing to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Hardy, you did not roll an issue. Oh, yes, you did. Never mind. Uh, Alright, so, Bulger, you may start. Uh, okay. Well, it is uh, a zombie, and uh, Butter to shoot, butter to kill. Uh, <laughs> fucking, I'm just gonna hit zombie with scimitar. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you <laughs> you severely <laughs> slash the zambo. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's see where's that? Oh, oh, wait. Where's my? Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see if this is there. Quick. Uh, 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 okay. Um, alright. Um, for the wisdom save... Hold on. Well, no, no, no. I, I didn't... I don't... It, I don't think it was surprise attack. No. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I didn't try to go for surprise attack. I just tried to hit. Yeah, so he's still alive, just barely, though. Alright, well, then we're gonna slice him again. <laughs> Hey, that's my uncrew dead. All right, so uh, you slash him. Uh, however, let's see, undead fortitude. If damage reduces the zombie to zero hit points, let's make a Constitution saving throw. So let me do this real quick. DC of five plus the damage taken. Uh, hold on. This is the first time I did it. So twelve plus five. <laughs> Bro. Then be. 
that's good. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I roll for this. This is the first I've been in. <laughs> I be the captain. Uh, okay, so let me see. I'm trying to understand this undead fortitude thing. Five plus the damage taken. So that's 12. That'd be 17. Look at this dog. You can hear that? Yeah. You can hear Alia barking despite the closed door. I heard. Burr, burr. That's okay. all I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's her going nuts. Probably, right. So or something up front. you slash the Zambo <laughs> and it falls to pieces and it dies. <laughs> Hooray! Zombo dead. Alright, um... Uh, do I detect... Can I hear... Do I... Do I see the other zombies? Uh, you see the skeleton, but, uh, like, uh, near the ballista behind you. Okay, well then I'm gonna move up a little bit, get ready to engage that skeleton, and that will be my turn. Alright, it's a Zambo's turn. Uh, oh, all right, no. so the zombie in front of you, Hardy, it's going to smack you. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, Cap. What's your AC? It's a uh, 20. 20. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So these things uh, try to slap you, but you're too quick uh, for their undead slammage. Uh, it does nothing. Uh, but let's see. Ske uh, alright, so the other two zombies are just gonna stand like bleh, like that. Unknowing. Uh, Skelly Man's turn. He's, uh, this one's gonna go after you, Bulger. This one all, uh, is two. Uh, it was in, hold on, it's like, it's right here? Yeah. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty. Uh, let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, Okay, so, uh, the two skelly men are gonna smack you with their swords, uh, Balger. So, let's see. Let's go. Alright, so the first hit. Let's see. Alright, that's a hit. Uh, you, cause your AC is 16, right? Yep, my AC is 16. Okay, and now for the second one. That's a nat 20. Wow. Alright, oh! so... Uh, so let me just roll uh, for the first one, um, the damage. So 1d6 plus 2. Alright, so the first <laughs> swipe, you take 5 damage. Okay, only... And, yeah, and for, that, and for that nat 20, you get... Uh, what was it? 8. So I take a grand total of 13 damage. Yep. Well, it's a terrible okay. point. Uh, has not even removed all of my ten hit points. Yep. <laughs> all right. So the two skelly men next to Hardy, uh, they're gonna smack you with their you sword. Real quick. Your AC is twenty. Um, it just barely hits your AC. <laughs> and then let's see. Okay, so only one of them hits. Um, so. Okay, from that one strike, you take five damage, but you got ten pip, ten points, so just take five yeah. of that. Um, <laughs> all right, so the two zombo, uh, skele skelly men on uh, Lucy, they're gonna smack you. That's a fail, and that's also a fail. So you're too quick uh, <laughs> and evading their attacks, Lucy. I go. I'm awesome. Alright, Hardy, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna smack the zombie right in front of me and be like, God damn it, I don't wanna mess with Oh that again! Rage. Rage. Hey, oops, that's, my bad. Oh man. Uh, that's my that's my scimitar. Much but hold on. No. Where is where is the the hit? Hold on, I gotta I gotta re-roll that. There we go. Okay, Sorry. you you slash the Zambo. Uh, it immediately, from that one slash, it immediately dies, and, uh, fall. 
and uh, falls to the ground. Okay, I can't move, so I'm just looking at the other two skeletons in front of me. Alright, uh, Lucy, your turn. Okay, I want to pay attention to this situation. Uh, I want to look at their uniforms. Alright. It's like loincloths and like small leathery, uh, like, like many aged leather. <laughs> Like it's been like they've been dead for a while, and whatever's whatever they're wearing has also been deteriorated. Ah, so the, no logo, no nothing, no signs of related nope. to the ship. Nope. So she's just here. Yep. Wait a minute! Didn't we like see? Did the orc gang have leather jackets? Uh, they did, but you don't see any on these zombies and skeletons. They're just. Zombies and skeletons wearing like loincloths or whatever. Uh, yeah, I might have a theory, but I'll share it later. Well, <laughs> I look at the key. Uh, can I see the key that I got? Yeah, uh, sure. Can I pull it out? Yeah. I sh can I show it to them and say, hey, does this recognize any of you guys? They are unfazed by what you're showing them. Oh. Hmm. Can I tell them to go do it? They're like, brains. Can I tell them to go do some work, like mop the floor? Um, you may ask them. Hey, zombie. Can you go mop the floor? Great. What's that mean? Great. From what you can tell, nothing. <laughs> oh. This is cheap labor, man. I ain't, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna figure out how to get around here. Cause I'm not gonna waste my time with this. Uh, where's the door to the uh to the thing? Uh, it's over here. Cool. I'm gonna just walk past this guy. Like, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just gonna go walk here. I'm taking our continuous right. attack. All right. You take two actually from these things. That's fine. All right. All right. So, and with their crappy attack rolls, you know, might as well like oh, look at that. That's a one. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you just walk by them. They're like, yeah, they swing, but they gaze, they just miss as you walk by them <laughs> casually. <laughs> I, I I go in and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna kill. I, I, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna get free labor out of this. I'm using these guys as crewmates. <laughs> so I, I'm going in, just open this door. All right, so I'm gonna say yeah. the ship is over. I mean, oh, the yeah. wheel to the ship is oh, over here. Over. The control center? Oh, uh, I thought this was a roof. Well, like, <laughs> your mighty DM did not expect to make a whole map of the ship uh, within, like, oh. uh, you know, an hour. So just imagine there's, like, a command center for the ship right here. All right. Uh, how long do I... Okay, so I gotta... Let's recount my steps. <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, wait, my chip pack was on the whole time. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I am here. All right, so you're in front of the wheel of your ship. Um, there, you see a little key ignition uh, next to the wheel. <laughs> I put, do I put the key in there? Uh, you may. All right, I put the key in. All right, what are you going to do? I turn it off or on or... Uh, I'm not even sure. Is this thing gone? You insert the key in and you twist it off, but the ship still remains on. Hmm. What seems to be a problem? Is there anything else on that thing? You see that the sh that the steering wheel is like steering itself. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna use the bit. Uh. Let's see here. I want to say investigation. Well, I mean technically investigation. Mm, I mean, I know how tech work. I mean, I'm smart. Should I use my intelligence? Um, I say roll investigation to see what's making this thing uh, uh turn on its own. All right, so you see that this uh, sh the wheel of the ship is turning on its own. Um, it's not mechanical. There's nothing uh, on the ship 
uh, tentacle that's making the ship operate on its own. It's something, from what you can tell, um, go uh, like a ghost, ghostly presence is on the sh is uh, steering the ship. Oh, can I can I talk? Ghost ship. Can I talk to this ghost and say, hey, can you stop doing it? No. Well, I'm gonna need you to stop. Here's the thing with that, ah, Lucy. I killed you before. I'll do it again. You can't. This is my ship. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you listen to your old bastard. I killed you with a rock. No. I'll, I'll stab you again with another one. I like to see you try, Lucy. And as this is happening. You get immediately ousted out of the sh uh, out of like uh, the command the command center. <laughs> All right then. Let's see how uh, it is. The the um, the uh, the uh, guy that you swore you killed uh, for being a complete freaking creep uh, with mayonnaise and whatnot uh, appears before you. He floats in the air. Uh, undead uh, and uh, and the works is like this is what you get for trying to kill me if only your if only you and your friends wouldn't kill me so casually especially your snake friend oh yeah he did kill you Fucking must, has fucking Mayo Man been the one who fucking been just icing? <laughs> That's a nat 20. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna go immediately after you. <laughs> or like, um, it's gonna, let's see. Yeah, it's like right in front, of, right before a vulgar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, so Lucy, you get ousted from the command, sent a uh, command center of the ship. Um, Let's see, but you could still. I'm gonna say you could perform an action right now if you want to. All right. Cause we haven't, cause we haven't really done anything. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I did it. <sighs> All right, let's see if this works on you. All right, so you shoot firebolt, and you do hit him. Uh, he takes. Let me look at his uh, stat sheet real quick. Okay. Uh, all right, so he takes 20 points of fire damage. 29. Ow. <laughs> 29, because that counts. Oh, yeah, that counts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so hold on, let me add this thing real quick. You know what? I summon up the boy since it's going to get hairy in here for my bonus action. All right. Uh, let me just do this. All right, so he takes 20 points of damage. Ow, how could you do this to me? This is my ship now. Yeah, I feel like it's been um, deja vu all over again. We're more just... All right, that's it for your turn? <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right, so the, uh, the Mayo Lord. He's going to, let's see, let me see what he can do. Did you just fucking call him the main award? Does this man fucking ascend? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, he's, let's that's see. That's just, can I be heard? I'm just, like, looking up his uh, stats real quick. Uh, okay. let's see. Making sure my mic's not fucking me over. Okay. Um, all right. So. Okay. So, he is going to use. Uh, let's see. Okay. So he's going to use uh, Deathly Ray on Lucy. So let's see. Take this, you blue-haired bimbo. Your AC, what is it? Uh, let me check a look. It is 19. If I decide wow, he just hits your AC with 19. Oh, guess what? Reaction shield. Bumped it up to 5. I see. Alright, so... 
Uh, let's see. Demons or death ray attacks. Okay. Um, all right, so that was that, but he's going to use one of his legendary actions to attack one more time. Here it goes. And uh, use deathly ray one more time. All right, so he failed. So he couldn't get you with the two times he attacked. Um, but he's going to use one of his uh, features that he can do. Uh, he's going to, he's a master of the grave. So he's going to uh, bring back the Zambo in front of Hardy. And the, the Zambo that Bulger took out with full health. Because he's a dick. <laughs> go, what? my go, my minions. Kill these bastards and add them to my crew. <laughs> and then stuff them full of mayonnaise. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, okay, you're dead. He's gonna have to go. I killed you before. I'll do it again. Okay. Uh, what do I? Okay. Does Vulgar notice me, old man? Uh, you do see him. It's like, yeah, you just see him. <laughs> okay. Bear in mind, Vulgar showed up after Mayo Man. <laughs> Does Mayo Man even know who he is? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> So, and Bulger doesn't know him. So Bulger just looks up and just goes, Well, that's a weird looking ghost. Is he attacking Zitsu? Is he attacking Lucy so furiously? And I thought I killed you. What is. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Uh, <laughs> um, Bulger quickly utilizes his character, his feat of nimble escape. To get away on a bonus action, he's going to actually jump up here to the roof. How high is the roof? The roof is 10 feet high. All right, I jump up to the roof. And then, is this a cannon? Is this a crossbar? What is this? That, I'm going to say that's like uh, 30 feet up in the air. Okay, so then I will... I will move forward... Uh, 15, 20, 25. Uh, how high is this roof above the one I'm currently on? Well, remember, you took 10 feet uh, to get... I, I know. I kept track of that. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that's an additional 10 feet up. Okie dokie. Can I throw my knife at this crossbar here and see if it lands and teleports me up? Uh, you may. Okie dokie. And from there, if I succeed, can I use five feet to get me on top of the thing? Let's see if he can get up there first. <laughs> All right. I throw the knife. All right. So your your dagger, uh, you throw your dagger, and it sticks onto the hull of. Uh, that's not a cannon. I'm gonna say it's like a like a mast for the ship. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, I uh, then use um, five feet to climb on top of the thing. And I am now on top of the mast. Yes. I'm just keeping an eye on this dude because I don't even. Bulger doesn't even really know what's truly happening here. He just shows up. There's zombies fighting him. Wants to get away from the situation. Just kind of look around and see this weirdo. <laughs> and that'll just be his turn until he figures out what's happening. All right. Uh, the Zambo. They're just saying like, brains. Um, uh, they, this one wants to get to where you're at, but it, it can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright, so this zombie is gonna go to where the servant... Oh, just gonna put it right there. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, alright, so, uh, Lucy, this zombie is gonna attack your servant. Oh, no. So let's see. No, don't do it. It's gonna do it. Even though he's on my shoulder, so he's technically hitting me. <laughs> Your servant has its own HP and AC. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. Uh, all right. So it smacks, but it misses. What's all right, what was your AC for the servant? Like twenty? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, it misses. Uh, so now the 
zombie next to you is going to attack you. So let's see. Uh, your AC is 20 or 18. Uh, is it? Right now, uh, since it's a new turn, 19. All right, it hits with a 20. Oh, no. I'm not going to waste a, a shield. I'll take it. All right. You, all right, so let's see. 26. Come on, roll 20. Roll the dice. Roll 20. What's going on? <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> Uh, you take only five damage. Oh no, my my hit my two points. No. <laughs> All right, Hardy, the one zombie, it's gonna smack you with uh, your AC was nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, okay, it misses. All right, so that's it for the Zambo Skellyman turn. Uh, all right, so. Yeah, these things are weak, so. <laughs> and, um, and the first skeleton tries to hit you, Hardy, and misses. The second one also misses. Uh, all right. The skelly men are trying to get towards its, uh, to where Balger is at, but he's too far up. Um, that's it for the skelly men. <laughs> Hardy, your turn. Uh, okay, I think it's time to bring out <clears throat> the moon. But let's see if it affect the the mayo dude. <clears throat> Get in there. It's radiant. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, hold on. I'm on. I'm on measure. There we go. And you are. How much was your circle, Tim? Hold on. Let me make sure. Oh. Check the circle real quick. Cause I haven't used Moonbeam in a while. Oh, you are. Five feet. I feel like right so there, so I can see him. <laughs> so you're 2.5. 2 2.5. There we go. Save. There you go. No, and I'm, I'm still doing level 3, boom, boom. Where are you at? Save. Let's see. Okay. Alright, so let me go for this. Alright, but I'm gonna use legendary resistance, and he says and I I say he succeeds the throw. What? That's half damage, by the way. Yeah, but still better than freaking 19. <laughs> Alright, so it only takes 9 points of damage. What a racist. Ow, how dare you. And yeah? That's it. <laughs> uh, uh, I was gonna do something really grotesque, but I don't wanna. <laughs> Alright, Lucy, your turn. All right, I'm gonna focus on the Mega Mega Man. What is he wearing? That I order. Uh, he's uh, let's see, what's he wearing? He's wearing plate armor. Oh goody! Is it metal? No, it's like scales. <laughs> oh darn! I was hoping it was metal. I never get we to use loot that. Him. I never get to use that spell. <laughs> Oh well, anyway, uh, is there anything the reason why uh, these zombies are following him or something? Um, you can take a good guess that like these zombies are here and zombies and skelly men are here because of him. Oh, so he <laughs> brought revenge. him here? Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> so is he, did he use the captain <laughs> of this ship or something? Can I just take the ship? Uh, I mean, like, you tr you tried earlier to, like, put your uh, key in and, like, steer the ship, but uh, it wouldn't work because he was there. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, I don't want to do it the slow way and kill you slowly because this is it's going to take forever. Uh, 
Uh. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you guys are doing a pretty good job, uh, you know, taking them out. So. They're like, bro, do you do you like, bro? You want to keep this shit? I didn't really buy. I want, I want my revenge on you fools for killing me. Also, that stupid snake down below. <laughs> Technically, I the one that stabbed you with a rock. You didn't remember that, right? I do remember. <laughs> Yeah, I, he, I mean, then again, we did beat you up in the hallway because you're being perverted. Let's be real. I was loving man. Do you, you were a pervert, you know it. I want you to die and cover them mayonnaise and I'll slurp it up. See, this is the reason why you died. Are you going to do something? Yeah, fucking die. Since you don't want to go down quietly, I guess I'll just fucking burn you to death. You throw a fireball. Damn! <laughs> you throw a fireball, he immediately uh, catches on fire and takes 26 damage. I... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to that, she made me laugh. <laughs> Okay, uh, my server prepares for dodge and uh, bonus action. No bonus action. Uh, yeah, we're done. All right. The lord. <laughs> uh, so he's going to use. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you know, hi. Did you kill hi? Okay. Him. <laughs> All right. So. He is going to cast, and I'm gonna like use like a copy of his token. He is going to cast Cloud Kill. Oh, I know that spell. You can't kill Too Cloud. well. He's from Seven at Final Fantasy Seven. You can't kill him. <laughs> so oh, wait, hold on. I have right. this spell. Twenty foot radius sphere. Will that be, will that work? The twenty foot, or is that too big? Um, so you need to subtract 2.5 from it, and, like, because it's a rate, it's a circle. Okay, alright. Fucking math. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Alright, so he uses Cloud Kill on you and, uh, Lucy, on Lucy and, uh, Hardy. Uh, alright. <laughs> All right, uh, it is, uh, you guys are shrouded in a massive fog of poison. Uh, both of you make a constitution saving throw. Ah, uh, okay, so, wait a minute. He's in the moonbeam. I guess I could also try to break his concentration, do you? Because I know this spell too well. <laughs> do that on your turn, though. Actually, yeah. no, wait, the... Um... That was it. Doesn't the moonbeam hit hit a target on their turn? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. So you roll, might need to make a Constitution saving throw. Roll the moonbeam. I want to see it. Okay. Where are you, level three? Hmm. Should I call upon? There you love? go. Uh, let's see if he can, uh, ex ex you know, beat that. He's gonna use legendary resistance. <laughs> It succeed. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, and then I'm gonna roll for mine. All right, so he only takes 13 points of damage. Mm, should I use Should I use constant? Should I use luck? Did I keep it? Um, let's see. You rolled 11. You rolled a 13. Let me, let me see his thing. What well, I gotta beat? Hold on. I'm trying to read. Trying to read it. Um. Okay, you had to be 18. Oh, uh, okay, I lost. Moon Beam's gone. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm going to call upon luck on that one. Let's, right. Yeah, and add plus five on my flash of genius. <laughs> All right, so only uh, Hardy takes uh, the poison damage. Lucy, you take... Uh, hold on, where's it at? Uh, kill. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, and you take half damage, Lucy. So hold on, let me roll for the damage. Ah! All right, so Hardy, you take twenty-eight poison damage. 
Okay, that's ten points gone. No, I need to do math. Okay. Right, and uh, Lucy, uh, half of that, that is, um, you take 14 points in damage. 14? Yep. Is your servant affected by poison? Uh, let me see, let me see. Cause I, I don't think so, that's a machine. Let me see, hold okay. on. Yeah, hold on. I'm pretty sure machines are immune to poison. Uh, okay. uh let me, let me get, get a look at it right quick. Damage immunity? Uh, poison. Alright, alright, just make sure. Alright, so, <coughs> after, uh, casting that spell, Mayo Man says, This is, ugh, this is ridiculous. I'll make you pay for killing me, Lucy. Uh, my power has <laughs> doubled last time. You feel the ship turn and start to head downwards at an alarming pace. Ah! Holy crap, we're gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna have fun! If I, if, if I die, then I'll be taking you all with me! And die in mayonnaise! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, is it flying? How, how long we got? So, I'm gonna say, for the sake of this, you only got three rounds. <laughs> So I got three rounds to kill this man? Yep. <laughs> and he's about halfway there! <laughs> Alright. Yep. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Can Bulger see him from here? Yes, you may. <laughs> Can I launch an attack on him? Um. Wait, like the AC? Well, no, no, I'm just making sure that I can actually hit him if I throw my dagger. Yes, you may. Oh. It's a bad Alright, so first and foremostly, I use my uh, bonus action to um, activate Hunter's Mark on Mr. Mayo, because Balder doesn't know what's going on entirely. But he understands the basic that this man is bad and needs to die. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, Balder will take his first hit by striking... Uh, Mr. Mimim with um, you know what? Hmm, let's see. What does more damage? <laughs> oh yeah, I have a magic shot. He's shotgun. not actually going to teleport to him. Rather, he's going to use the, a weapon that his good cousin Grundle gave him. Seems pretty fitting. Returning fire dagger, our first strike upon this man. All right. Ooh. All right. You you slash him. Yeah. Now remember, remember Hunter's Mark. That is an extra D. What is it? Well, roll it, John. It's an extra one D six. All right. He takes thirteen damage. And then a second strike from the re uh, repeating uh, returning fire dagger. You slash him again. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also in number D6. He takes 15 damage. Ah! Who are you? I don't remember you killing me. <laughs> A baller just goes, well, you're going to remember this. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I don't uh, like you. You're creepy. You don't deserve my wit. Zombies, um, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He tries to get to you, but he's, uh, you know, he sucks. <laughs> I'm a top of the mask, he can't hit me. The Zombo next in front of Hardy is going to smack you. Um, your AC, uh, does a 19 hit? Um, it's 20, so it's right below. You're just right. off by one. All right, so he failed. Uh, the two, okay, the one next to your servant, Reggie, is going to hit. So let's see. <laughs> That's a fail. Uh, and now the oh. one, zombie next to you. Let's see. It's also a fail. <laughs> All right, so now it's the skeletons. Uh, <laughs> this mayonnaise man did not plan his attack. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. All right. The first uh, skeleton attacking you, Hardy, does nothing. Uh, he tries to hit you, but he failed. 
Um, same for the second one. Uh, let's see. And so, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. Um, yeah, they, uh, they're they on their way to try to kill you, Lucy, but that's as far as they go. Hardy, your turn. Okay. Um, first of all, your your cloud kill needs to move to, like, ten feet away on the Mayo Man's turn. But he which, I forgo- it. Which, which is something I forgot. He cast it on his turn. So yeah. On his, uh, his next turn, that's when I'll move it. Yeah, gotcha. Um, I'm gonna go for the Mayo Man, so I'm gonna use Long Strider. Hold on, let me check something real quick. All right. Um. Okay. Um. So Long Strider, what does that do? Long Strider just gives me extra ten feet for an hour, no concentration. Okay. Um. But I, I do know Cloud Kill slows me down. I think. Hold on, let me double check that. Dun, dun, let me oh, see oh, that oh, movement oh. thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh! No, it doesn't slow me down on movement. Okay. I, th- I couldn't... I could have sworn it did, but it doesn't. That's probably... I'm thinking of another spell right now. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I'm gonna... I don't care if the opportunity attacks hit me. Uh, I'd say hold on. One. <laughs> Two. Right, Two. So. Three, four, five, six. God damn. Seven. <laughs> forty. I got, I got forty. I got ten. I had to take extra ten feet. You have now. One, two, three, four. Holy shit. I, I still. I'll still take the damage though, and cloud and cloud kill. Yeah. So I got to roll for all those Zambos <laughs> and Skelly men you pass. So <laughs> it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I promise. It'll be worth it. So let's see. See, like all of them roll a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Another 20. Uh, Another failed. 20. Another 20. I'm just like Third. being a Almost football a 20. <laughs> all right. That one hit. That one hit, yeah. I've only rolled for the last hit. All right, so only out of the, out of all five of those Zambos and Skeletons, you only take one hit. So let's see. <laughs> You take uh, five damage. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, can I use like a bonus action? Um, to do what? Uh, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be sound very bad, unfortunately. I oh god, Hardy's gonna be like, can't believe I'm gonna have to do this. But he's like, he okay, it's gonna be really nasty. It's like. He touch. He lowers his hands onto the Mayo Man's. L- is the best way I'm gonna put this politely. <laughs> um, he's like twenty feet up in the air from where you're at. Oh, uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, he, he, he like tries to reach for his lap. Then, despite he has long wounds, but he can only reach halfway. Yeah. Like God damn it! <laughs> oh, got to wait a little bit. Right. So he's gonna have to wait for him to jump. All right, Lucy, your turn. All right. How close is he? How close is him being dead? Well, dead, dead. Um, <laughs> um, about dead. You joking? Like dead, dead? <laughs> like about dead? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> What's your move? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, he really wants to kill me because I killed him. Hmm. Uh, at, at this point, Lucy's already annoyed. She's like, uh, I, I gotta do with this guy and the zombies because the zombies keep attacking her and she just keeps pushing him away. It's like, go oh, away. Damn. You're bugging me. I'm gonna make a deal with the Mayo Man. Alright. <laughs> Try. Go for it. Hey, Dale, hey <laughs> Mayo Man. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Look, I know we had our differences. Bitch. <laughs> I know we had our differences. 
asshole. But what if I made a deal with you? I don't care about your stupid deals. What? I want you dead. What? Hear me out. What if I give you a lot of bitches that just shows off their boobs? I'm undead. But you can do anything with those. Why wanna... would I do that if I can summon undead bitches? That's all I can do. That's gross. You can. He have, has a point. You can have live <laughs> women. Why you you are terrible at uh, at deal making, you harlotin? <laughs> harlotin? You know what? What if I show you my titties and you go away? How about I show? How about I shove a knife down your throat? <laughs> You're a weird. You know what? You're about. You know what? I'm just gonna kill you now. Deal's off. I would have show you my titties. God. <laughs> I'm, oh God. However, Reggie, you're still in that poison cloud. Your view is heavily obscured, so you gotta roll with disadvantage. Then so be it. You miss. That's okay. Because I choose to fly up 30. Well, I, I don't know how far. I decide to fly up a little bit higher above the clouds. Which I don't know how many feet that is. That is... Um... 20 Buffy foot radius hitting. up and around. Huh? 20? 20 feet high. Well, I'm going up 30. Me and my right. are going up. Uh, you're now 30 feet in the air. Whoosh. And... And... And, uh, bonus action, none. Uh, prepare to dodge for my servant. And that's the end of our turn. I have a clear shot of you now. And he moves up an additional 10 feet high, uh, away from Hardy, but, you know, up about the same uh, level as where you're at, Lucy. Um, Damn it. <laughs> and uh, uh, he uh, snaps his uh, fingers. The engines go Wait. faster. Th not uh, the, the, round, uh, the round has been increased from... Only three rounds to only one round now. The ship is going down uh, in a, di a downward spiral really freaking fast. So fast, in fact, that the skelly men uh, on, at the front uh, get... Uh, and nope. they get launched straight into the, the electric field and instantly vaporize. No, my crew! I wanted those! <laughs> my cheek flavor! <laughs> That's free! <laughs> No. I shall see you die and burn in hell, oh. you miscreant. You're gonna pay for that. That's free labor. <laughs> and don't forget to move your cloud kill. Actually, wait. If you're going downwards, also the hold on. Where you, cloud kill, yeah, the your, cloud your cloud kill, kill is moving more. away. Yeah, it gets dispersed. Uh, it's evaporated. I mean, yeah, it evaporates at this point. I was gonna. So, well, no, never mind. It's gone. All right, so um, the first shot hits you with his death, uh, deathly ray. Oh, that was the roll. Yeah, the eighteen. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, straight eighteen. Do I? Uh, what's the number at right now? Um, that would, uh, with his uh modifier thing, it'd be twenty-eight. Oh, never mind. That would no point. <laughs> All right, so uh, he so you take the hit five d eight plus five necrotic damage. Oh joy. So you, from that Deathly Ray, you take, uh, let's see, 27 points back. You take 32 points of damage. <laughs> oh, joy. Yeah, um, all right. And, uh, he wants you dead, because, like, <laughs> of your crappy deal. Um, so he's gonna use, uh, as a legendary action again, uh, one more time with the Deathly Ray. 32? All right, what's your AC? Uh, if it's 15 right now, it's, uh, 19. Uh, all right, so it hits. Uh, all right. So what do I got to beat? 25. Yeah, no, I'm not going to win that. All right, so you take it hit again. Yeah. Uh, all right, the second Deathly Ray, you take 25 points of damage. 
All right. What was the first one? Uh, 32, and this is 25. Oh, okay. Question. Um, is, Jeffrey Necro is Jeffrey necrotic? Yes. Um, you, Lucy, do you have necrotic resistance? Uh, we killed a dark dragon. Dude. Dark dragon. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so you probably take half of those damages. Uh, I try to see something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the rules of Julian's uh, dra dark dragon necrotic death dragon we face. If it says you got necrotic resistance, then you got resistance to necrotic damage. I didn't add. Which to, is not. I didn't add that to my thing about dark. Oh, I, I get. I think that was just me and Alejandro done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about Whoops. that. Well, should we Whoops. all supposed to get that? Yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> well, what does it say for necrotic crap? For necrotic, necrotic? damage, you would take half of that damage. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess I should add that to the death, the death thingy. The death yeah, thingy. Yeah, you power. should. <laughs> so, alright, so half, so all together, uh, that's like 57, but with your necrotic thing, uh, resistance, you take uh, only a uh, 29 damage. On uh, both? <laughs> uh, like, like, uh, uh from the damage all together. So 29 damage. Yeah. Pussy shit. <laughs> All right, so the male lord is like, join me, Lucy. I'll make you part of my undead crew. We'll slather each other in manners. Like I already offered you the uh, like trying to see my boobs, and you chose to you declined that. So no thanks. <laughs> All right, so that's it for his turn. Bulger, can you kill this guy? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I had to show my, uh, get the dog away from, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep bashing him with, uh, actually, just to, before I do that, actually, just to make sure that this guy dies, um, uh, hold up. I am going to also, uh, utilize Slayer's Prey. Right. Which also gives me an additional 1d6. <laughs> so, we're going to blast him again with the returning fire dagger. Right. That oh, wow, it? that's a nat 20. <laughs> that do it? So, uh, uh, and a nat. So, uh, John, describe how you kill him. <laughs> uh, the Bulger just fucking throws a knife at him. He doesn't even do anything cool. He just wants this dude gone because he's trying to not get the ship to crash. Alright, so you just throw your knife and he's like, join me, Lucy. Join me. Ah! <laughs> he gets stabbed from the hut. Ah! He gets so, uh, I guess, disoriented. He, f he uh, falls back straight into the lightning sail thing and <laughs> gets uh, lightning struck by this thing. Can I throw a ghost? Can I throw a ghost brick in his chest? Go ahead. <laughs> like, like, you know what? I go up to him, fly up there, and just like you know, what? stab him with a ghost brick. How about you just throw it from where you're at? Uh, okay. <laughs> this is all happening really. Fast. You don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> uh, okay, I throw it. It's like shut up. You throw it. It's like damn you, Lucy. You throw the brick. <laughs> Can I, like, use a spell? It's too late, he's <laughs> No, 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 it's for the ship. Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> so, um, you killed the, uh, mayonnaise man, may mayor lord. Uh, all the skelly men and, uh, zombies that were on the ship Wait. have destroyed. They're just gone. Oh, I was gonna However, save them! However, the ship is spiraling at a downward uh, rate. So, Hold on. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I like to use a um, spell, please. Where is the mass? The control thing. <laughs> hold on, I like to use oh, a wait, spell, wait, wait. please. Actually, hold on. Shit, hold on. <laughs> we should have kept the turn order. <laughs> um, Why? Why? 
Sorry, because, like, you know, like, we got... This is how, this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright, why did I add the servant? Uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah, it should be fine. Alright, um, let's see. It was... Fuck, I should have turned turned off the terminator. I was, it was two. Uh, God damn it, it's <laughs> too too I was I was two. Alright. Uh screw it. Alright, this is the order. Lucy, what do you want to do? I'm gonna fly to the deck. Sixty All feet. Right. Use your movement. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, okay. I am... Alright, you get all right, you get to the uh, wheel of the ship. The wheel is spinning cr like, a, like a top. <laughs> hmm. I guess I stop it? You grab the wheel, roll a strength check. <laughs> oh, I'm good at that. I think I'm good at that. <laughs> I hope I'm good at that. <laughs> roll, uh, actually, roll athletics or acro. Uh, yeah, roll athletics. To see if you can, like, stop this wheel. Well. Oh. You're terrible. I'd you try to grab the wheel. <laughs> the wheel is so str. Oh, okay. <laughs> you you call luck. No, you said strength. I rolled strength. Unless I want to oh, roll against luck. Um, lucky to hit. say athletics, not, um, yeah, it's great. All right, so what? you grab the wheel. The wheel is spinning so fast. You're able to to grab a hold on it. Uh, it it jerks you, but you're able to have a, a tight grasp on it. Um, however, the ship is still going at a downward spiral. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hmm. What should we do, Captain Lucy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, it's going to Daryl Spiel, all right. Well, like, it's going, like, it was going in a downward spiral, but you stopped the spiral, so, but it's just still going straight down. All right, I look around and see, okay, what do I need to do to lift this thing? Uh, make an, an intelligence saving throw. See if you can, like, remember anything at all about airships. <laughs> I mean, it's technically a ship. I can kind of fly it. This, an airship and a boat ship are two very different things. <laughs> it has ship in it. Okay. You remember that one lever next to you controls the altitude of the ship? <laughs> Alright, I... I'm... I remember that and I start doing it. Uh, you grab the uh, switch. Uh, however, uh, there are like different components to a ship. Not only do you have to like pull the switch, you have to like. Uh, you remember that like you need more crewmates to like move the mast and whatnot to make the ship do what you want. Oh, jeez. I do. And I. I, the, I don't know, I pick a lever or something to do it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, like, this that's all you can, like, do. But you can, like, uh, tell your uh, companions to do something. <laughs> <laughs> do something! Uh, you become a giant bird and lift the ship. The ship is very big. <laughs> do something, true face. <laughs> You want your servant to do something? Uh, servant, I need you to do something for me. Do a lift, move some levers and stuff and see what happens. Your servant's oh. all the way over there. Oh. At the front. Oh, yeah. He was on my, on my shoulder. I thought he was. Oh, why didn't you move it? All right. Uh, um, <laughs> your servant looks at some buttons and whatnot. Roll your servant's intelligence. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What is intelligence? I would laugh if he did it above what Julian expected. <laughs> oh, goody. His intelligence is pretty good. Just as mine. Almost. I guess. I hope. <laughs> it's Toya. He's smart. He's decent smart. That should be Roll. okay. That should be okay. Roll. Wow. 
Okay, okay I'm laughing. Oh, your servant oops. knows way more than you do, apparently. <laughs> he sees uh, your servant flexes and starts, like, jumping up and down on multiple buttons and switches. Um, the ship, uh, it was going in a downward spot, uh, going straight down, is now starting to lift upwards, but still go, but still going in a, a downward motion. At least it's not going straight down. It's like, um, it's lifting up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, right, uh, are we slowly? Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's it for your servant, uh, Hardy. What do you want to do? Okay, I still have long strider. Can I go in the ship where I'm at right here? Or is uh, that yeah. else? Yes, you can get you you can get below deck if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna go below deck, um, and then I'm gonna use a spell while in that ship to oh, help yeah, it yeah. go up. Yeah. As you were go, as he went down, you see a unconscious Zetsuli. <laughs> what the no, fuck? Uh, he fuck has fuck been the one teleporting motherfuckers. I thought it was in my. Yeah, I, no, I... no, that doesn't make sense. I have his dust in my bag. He should be where I am. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Um. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna worry about that now. This is too much. Uh, I'm gonna use reverse gravity to make it. To prevent it from going any more down. Okay. Uh, how big is the spell? Uh, it's a hundred feet. It's a circle. I'm in an indoor space, so it's right. like the circle is like inside of this object. Okay. Um, let's see. The ship on its own, it's like like a like a good. Uh, I'm gonna say like a big. Old, it's like a big old ship. Uh, I'm gonna say with your reverse gravity. You're able to hold uh, about to like half of the ship, half of the sh inside of the ship. So like a big chunk of it has a uh, has a uh, you know uh, like no no weight to it. It's like you uh, the massive ship uh, mass has been redu significantly reduced, um, but not the majority of it. So okay, I that's do, fine. You do feel that the ship uh, from going at an intense speed earlier has been reduced drastically oh, but not God. too much <laughs> that that works that works I'm like, oh, gravity <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not it bulger your turn uh well bulger has never really been on a giant flying ship like this so he doesn't exactly know what to do so he just runs I've. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, sorry. Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, dash, rest of the way. Uh, what, what was it? 5, 10, 15, jumps over. Yeah. Hi, I'm here. What do you need? Uh. Stuff is going on. Uh, controlling train. Uh, pull, pull train. Okay. I'm controlling plane right now. Plane? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to help. Oh. Uh, you can brace for impact. Ask if I, he has like a spell or something, I guess. You know, part of me wants to let go and let this blow up. <laughs> I would I'm slowing it down. Maybe we can move it to water out somewhere. Back in my mind, it's like, I, I didn't pay for this. The elephant man did this. That's also true. <laughs> this is going to be his uh, That's really, if I may, we don't want to let this thing crash because A, we don't want to die. Well, I don't. B, you know, you could always just resell this for probably a higher price, for probably like even higher than the auction guy did. Wait, can we all and, well, fly though? Yeah, you could. I mean, we can. <laughs> uh, question. Does anybody notice if the ship has, like... The ship drop speed has, like, reduced. Aside from Hardy. <laughs> uh, only you would notice it. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, you know, hold on. Bulger's not really been... Bulger's... Can I roll perception to see if I do notice? Uh, roll... Yeah, roll perception. Yeah, let me see if I notice. What? 
Uh, you don't. Know. You don't know shit. Well, yeah, it does kind of suck because having a big, you know, flying ship is kind of nice. But eh, I the guess ship is flying. Just, <laughs> yeah, I guess we can all just get off of it. Mm. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, can I look? Can we look and see where it's gonna land? Uh, actually, you could do that right now, Lucy, since it's your turn. You see that there's some rocks and some ocean and ocean with rocks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, nobody's not going to get hurt. Um, all right, Lucy, after this, the ship's going to land. So where do you want to land this thing? Uh, all right. Since and I'm going to say it's going to be a uh, not a crash landing, but this ship is going to be damaged somewhat. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to fix it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Ocean with rocks is bad. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go ahead and just. Ugh. You know, I actually did pay for this. I would have been, I would have been concerned if it's uh, properly landed. I'm gonna be like, <clears throat> all right, Mister Servant, can you properly descend this thing slowly? I guess if you can. Roll your servant's intelligence. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. If we can't do it, then we're jumping out the plane. I'm letting you know right now. <laughs> Straight up. Oh. All right. Your servant, <laughs> he tries his best. Um, he manages to, to um, I guess, take control of the ship and uh, pilot it away from the Death Rocks. However, uh, he pilots it straight into the ocean where, like, they're, like, some smaller man, uh, menial rocks and uh, you crash or I guess like land in a rocky ocean uh, tundra over here <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. over where I moved uh, the ship. to the bigger ship <laughs> it's like That's off not to too the bad ship, like right here um, right there yeah so like the ship um, it's like, uh, I'm gonna say like, one third of the ship is just like, inside the the ocean, or the other half is just like, other two thirds of it are just like, uh, jutting out of the ocean, uh, uh out of the ocean. <laughs> so it's like, you guys are all like, slanted. <laughs> okay, but is it close to the shore? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, that's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, you, got, you guys that survived rock. that big old ship crash. <laughs> yeah, my free ship. I would get upset about this, but it's free. So, um, let me move you guys back over here. All right. You know, I was actually hoping to land it on that work sound. It would have been more funny. So. You guys walk away from the, uh, you're kind of crashed. Do we uh, have the conscious body of Zep Suli with me, Did, with us? Did we pick him up? Yes. Uh, I'm going to say, Hardy, you you dragged him all the way over there. I still think he, how did he get out of my bag? Because he was dust. Maybe check your bag? Was that him? You, you see, it's like. It's like little bits of him that remained. Uh, but, but it's like uh, <laughs> you remember from like the uh, the Avengers movie. It's like <laughs> they turned to ash, but they still came back whole. So <laughs> I'm poor old. It's like the rema the remainder of the ash. <laughs> I'm just gonna put I mean, that. I'm just assuming it was probably like his ex. No, it's just complicated. Shake, shake, shake. Yes. Can I? Can I roll for Thanks. insight? Shed their skin. I'm just gonna pour this stuff on him. There you go. Zetsuli is still unconscious. Uh, mainly because, you know, I didn't hand you in here. <laughs> um, but you do see a crowd of, like, orcs and uh, the, uh, the other, uh, you know, the big elephant guys, like, 
Wh what the heck? I I bought you that ship and you already crashed it. I didn't crash it. Some some maniac ghost took over the boat. Did you guys not check that part? We, the ship captain is like, we were just on that boat before we uh, before it turned into whatever happened there. We didn't see any ghosts or anything. Well, somebody's gonna have to pay for this because uh, I was promised a perfect fit ship. I didn't do anything to that ship until you guys left it. So it's under your care. What? I, it, nope, I it is up. bought that ship. What? Yeah, yeah it's just like dumbfounded. Yeah, now somebody's gonna have to fix it. It's under your care now, so what? take care of it. Your your problem. What? Some, what? Somebody's owe me a boat. Not my problem. What? Have fun. Uh, <laughs> the the ship captain's like, uh, sure. Um, she is the owner of the boat, but it was purchased under your name. You might have to talk to. You might want to talk to me about this. Uh, but <sighs> so, uh, Lucy, you got your uh, your bike. <laughs> yes. Yay! I got my bike. I missed the Ghost Rider. Uh, do you pop a do you pop a wheelie? Hell yeah, I do. I was like, mm. and you uh... have. <laughs> you missed it so much. <laughs> you like listen to that engine purr. I love the I love this heart this Harley. Uh, Hardy, do you want to drag that silly to the end? <laughs> Yeah, I'll stack that Zuli. Oh no, I'll toss him to the end actually. Alright. Um, like, because I want to go and like do more training in the training hall. <laughs> I'm not paying a dime on that thing. It would. I was. Promised. I tossed. The what? Actually, I, you know what? I might as well use this time to go in the end to examine that Zuli's body. <laughs> yeah, you um, you do that, Bulger. What are you doing? Bulger walked back to the inn, then stopped and thought for a minute. Because as far as he knows, both Zetsui and Grundle <laughs> disappeared. As far as he can tell, Weird Manny's man is, um, <laughs> is someone that that old party, including Grundle, dealt with. When Zetsui disappeared, he just randomly showed up on the ship. Bulger's just connecting the dots in his head going, Oh shit, is Grundle on that ship? So he's racing back to Wild Ship into a fish so he can go see if he can get Grundle off that ship if he's there. Alright, I'm gonna say, um, uh, you, while you're in, uh, you're gonna be searching for a bit for hours. Uh, Lucy, what are you doing? It's fine. Uh, I park my bike back outside the thing up the fish go like, whoop. And I go, right. I walk on the, on the, through the front door and say, hey, how you doing? And then I go over here and freaking I go to talk to the uh, elephant man over here. <clears throat> Nothing. Okay, so uh, anybody gonna solve that uh, airship problem? We were just discussing that. Uh, the captain uh, says to, um, well, we we did um, under the auction rules, uh, we were. Uh, supposed to give you a uh, fully functioning, well kept ship, and as ship captain, I did see that happen with my own eyes. But what exactly happened on that ship over there? Oh, uh, apparently there was some kind of ghost that wanted revenge on me. He he took control of the ship. There was a lot of undead in there too. Oh, well that sounds like a you problem then. Uh, not um, my problem. His problem. I mean. The ghost went after you. I did inspect the ship. It was well kept and functional. Um, but did you as know? for as for repairs, um, if you don't sue us, I think I could find a couple of shipwrights uh, that can uh, fix your your ship for you. It's gonna be hundred percent fix, right? Yes, uh although. I'll keep an eye out for any ghosts before I hand it off to you. It'll take some time to fix this ship, uh, believe it or not. How long? 
Uh, about two weeks worth, two weeks work, uh, worth of work. God dang, I just had it today. Well, we're, well, we're sorry about that, but I am giving you a, uh, a ship ride, uh, to that continent, uh, for where that time dragon is at. Yep. So by the time you come back, your airship should be finished. All right. No, it's free of charge, right? <laughs> I ain't gotta pay. He's gonna uh, pay, right? Uh, consider this as my negligence of seeing if there are any uh, ghostly apparatus on the ship before I handed it off. Yeah, you might so want to put it is on me. Yeah, you might want to add some ghost protection over. I don't know, protection agent shield against this thing. Anti plastic. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. It's not every day a, a ship is haunted by ghosts. That is sure. Well, we shall, uh, I shall start on the paperwork. Um, we sh I shall let you know when the repairs are finished. Alrighty. Again, I don't have the paper this, right? No. And he walks off. <laughs> I go out to the elephant man. Whew, we dodged the wheeler there, do we? Yeah, I didn't have to pay. You didn't have to pay. We're getting this thing fixed for free. <laughs> the elephant just looks at you, looks at the ship, and just walks off. <laughs> okay, then. Anyway, uh, free ship. <clears throat> so what's up? Can Lucy, can Lucy come back to the inn for me? <laughs> hey, wait, wait, come back, sir. I'm not, uh, no, sir, please, where you go? <laughs> Huh? What is it? So uh, I was actually thinking about the uh, the portal shield uh, staff. We go. He, he looks at the ship. It's like I don't feel I trust you with any more of my items. I didn't drive. <laughs> I didn't crash that. True, but I after what's been I what I've seen. I don't think I can trust you with anything. <laughs> why would I, I? Why would I destroy anything? Sir, you do me a bit <laughs> service. Let just let me have it. He just continually goes to his action. <laughs> just let me have like, it. I'll pay like, you. I will pay good, you. Good, good day, sir. Let and me he shuts the and closes it. Uh, <laughs> fine, sir. It's madam. <laughs> sir, please. Fine, I'm gonna go talk to my my uncle and auntie real right quick. It's important. <laughs> As you go, try to go into uh, the orc, uh, uh, orc chief's uh, hut, you see the two orcs from before, and uh, they like cross their spears in front of you. It's like, you may not enter. <laughs> I, it's very important. No. It's very important. It's family matter. <laughs> they asked us specifically to keep you out. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Lucy's just having a field day today. Well, yeah. I'm going to climb up in here if I have to. <laughs> I climb. There are more orc guards. I climb. It's like, hey, what are you doing here? Let me just poke her down <laughs> the tent. I want to talk to my family. <laughs> you can't They're hide from you. me. They're not letting you in. I I screamed yeah. through the I screamed through the wall. You can't hide from me. We're gonna have to talk sooner or later. <laughs> I know you in there. You get no response. <laughs> I know who you are. Don't make me call your brother. I'll get him involved. <laughs> We're gonna cut to uh, Hardy. <laughs> yeah. I I do need Lucy back in here though I, uh, for something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna. All right, uh, so we're gonna cut to Hardy. <laughs> so I go in there, I guess. Uh, okay. I'm looking at Zetsu. It's like I need to look at those ashes first before I look at Zetsu. I already poured um, ashes on him. Oh, you put the ashes on him? Yeah, already? I poured it on him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. You can do what you want then. Never oh. mind. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, can I use my herbalist kit? Cause like, just to use like my met like for Arcana. Ah, uh, go oh, ahead. No. Oh wait, actually, actually wait. Let me double check. 
Yeah, I can use it for Arcana. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, no, I want intelligence, so we're gonna use uh, a normal roll. So I'm gonna, I'm like examining the ashes and sits. You, you, from what you can see, it's like the equivalent of like, uh, like dead skin, uh, just like turned into ash. Oh, okay, this is yeah, interesting. Okay. Can I keep going at it? <laughs> Um, uh, Mighty DM says, um, and I'm gonna say, SEVERAL HOURS LATER! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, at this point, Balger, it's been many hours, you come back wet from searching the ship for many hours. <laughs> and no cousin? Nope. Yeah. Well, that was fruitless, and what took Grindel? I'm just like poking at Sully and examining his scales in the ashes. <laughs> hey, party! Oh, hey, 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 Bulger. Uh, can I have help? I need some help over here. What are you doing? I'm examining the dead. I'm examining the ashes and it's and trying to figure out why he was in the ship. <laughs> oh. Well, hmm. Rumble wasn't in the ship. I thought, you know, maybe they were captured by the same person, but turns out no. So, uh, I don't know what's going on. That would be strange. Hmm. Maybe I might later have to check out that ship in another time. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna say like this is the first time you guys seen. Zetsuli asleep because most majority of the time he's always he been up writing. Yeah, he's been up like writing spell scrolls and whatnot. So this is like a first for you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I I didn't think about it. Wow. <laughs> I I forgot that's his thing. Always staying up. No, no one. Everyone else sleeps. <laughs> this is surreal. He's kind uh... of raped over the barrel. Like a wet rag and just out. I kind, of, I kind of want to investigate his body, though. <laughs> um, so at that moment, uh, Lucy, pretend you're being dragged against your will <laughs> by multiple orcs. <laughs> you can't hide from me. No. <laughs> it's like you're being dragged by multiple orcs and they just throw you into the tavern. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're banished from the from the chief's house for trying to enter his home. I ain't answer. Just like leave. This is my home. And they just leave. <laughs> I'm going back. I have I to I stop here. That this behavior <laughs> is going to ruin Lucy's marriage. I'm going back. Mighty DM trying to end the session. No, I go back. We can end the session on Lucy desperately trying to return. <laughs> like we're just researching there this. Is, so body there is point. one more gag you can you can do, Julian. You can have him go back. Actually, no. What? You can just have him go back and have them just like I don't know, barricade him into the fucking inn or dump him in a hole, bury him. I guess I, guess or, I can. Or, I mean, it also off. looks like it also looks like that Zuli's just back. So Lucy's just back, so you know maybe, maybe it's fine. You know what? Lucy, oh, yeah. try to go. Actually, Lucy, try to go to the orc thing one more time. I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. I, That's I, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna dodge that the snake man's back and say, "Hey, snake man, but snake man, I'm gonna go look at the the fireplace again." All right, you do that. Um, it's kind of interesting about these ashes, by the way. Uh, apparently they're consist of dead skin cells. Yeah, I kind of figured that was the case, you know? He's a snake, he sheds his skin. Is he alive? He's alive, I double-checked. Okay. I just, like, I it's kind of really weird. It's just weird seeing him sleep. I'm not- he's usually never sleeping. No, <laughs> but, eh, it's not that interesting. I've seen snakes sleep before. Nah. I'm going back to bed. This is what I'm gonna finally do. I'm gonna set my girl. Damn. 
<laughs> Hold up. Gonna call uh, call mm. Gretchen. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello. Hey, my beautiful Cindy wife. Hi. I got some news for you. Yes. I feel I have a little belly bump right now. What? A what? A belly bump. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. She's that... showing signs of pregnancy. Oh! <laughs> Wait, how many days? Have, how many weeks have it been now? Our moms. Uh, quite a few. It should be more than a bump. It should be just full blown, just a bump. It's a one. small one. <laughs> My god. I'm gonna need pictures. Okay. And uh, you start getting like uh, pictures of like a goblin belly. Just like just like a little little bump uh for her belly. <laughs> Say what? You, you get you get uh, pictures of her belly. <laughs> I say nice. I was like, oh that was the door. My my tears are coming out. I don't know what to name it. It might be a boy or a girl. What are your thoughts? I don't know. Hmm. Well, <laughs> Lucy was expecting this. Well, uh, also, also uh, brainstorming. I'm thinking on the, along the lines of uh, Goombella. What do you think? <laughs> Goombella. <laughs> yeah. Killian, did you got that from Paper Mario? Maybe. <laughs> Fucking fight me. You know what? No. No, no, no. I'm not, ju no, I'm not judging. I respect it. <laughs> you know what? I'm a, if it's a girl, I'm naming her Amy. Oh my god. <laughs> Where did you get these names, Lucy? I have no <coughs> idea. Well, it's getting pretty late, so I love you, honey buns. You get back here and give me the sex. Oh my god! <laughs> And uh, she, she gives you like a big slap and kiss, like through the crystal ball thing. Me too! Then, well, like, you know, she tries to kiss it, but it's more like, you know, you kiss a phone you like that. <laughs> your lips on the freaking screen and just slobbers on them. Ew, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, stop doing it. Well, I'll see you later, Lacey. See you later. Also, the orc family hates me now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I think they. I think I know him enough. Mm. Well, uh, I guess I'll see you later. I gotta tell my dad about that. All right. Bye bye. See. And then the I look at the at the fireplace. Cause I'm weird. And, Dark Soul and that, style. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna call it. That's it for Jacob Pocklet. Damn, this might be the shortest session we ever had. That ain't, yeah. ain't that a record. Not really. Um, in any case, um, hope we all show up next time with everyone here for the most freaking uh, out of this world session to the time dragon arc in Jacob Apocalypto. Good night, everybody. I think you're almost close to the two hours. Almost there. Two more hours? No. <laughs> Damn, only an hour and 58 seconds. <laughs> like and subscribe! <laughs>